What's going on? This is Jam bringing you another locking tutorial. And in this video, we're going back to the basics and I'm gonna be showing you guys the lock. The lock is the core fundamental move in locking and where we get the name locking from. In this video, I'm gonna break down the technique as well as give you a drill that you can use to practice at home to get your lock nice and strong. Let's get it. Damn, damn, here comes the man, hot damn. Okay, this is the lock. This is the most important fundamental move to know in the style of locking. This is uh, the signature move of the creator of locking, Don Campbell. And originally, this was called the Campbell Lock, uh, as well as the style of dance was called Campbell Locking and eventually got turned into just locking and the lock, okay? So we're gonna jump into the technique of the lock and this is just how I personally like to teach the lock. Uh, I'm gonna share with you a couple tips that really helped me get my lock really down and uh, my own way of doing it. So this is just my way of teaching it. Uh, let's jump right in. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you uh, for the lock is your body posture, okay? So there is a specific body posture that you're gonna do when you lock, um, and it comes from this move called the camel walk, okay? So the camel walk looks like this. You're going to sit in your hip, and pop this knee up, okay? And the camel walk goes like this. So you're walking, ha, 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 okay? But it's this position right here that we're gonna focus on, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm sitting into my hip. So this leg is completely straight, that's important. So the, your, your, the position of your feet is important. Your leg, back leg is completely straight and your left leg is popped up on the toe, okay? Now, what I like to do is I like to pop it out a little bit because if you look at it from the front, it just kind of has more uh, like of a bigger picture. You can do it front like this, but I like to do it like this, okay? And this also helps me sit back a little bit more too. Along with the hips and the legs, your body posture is gonna come down like this, okay? So I'm hinging from the hips down here. Now I'm still keeping my focus up and I'm just bringing my body down, okay? So from here to here, okay? Up and down, up and down, okay? And that's the body posture. Now moving forward, the first thing I'm gonna show you with your arms is your elbows. Now, this is the most important part of getting the lock because a lot of people do it really, really different and really weird. Um, and I'm just gonna show you the technique that I use in my lock that I find gives the best picture. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put my hands down. Okay, connect them to my hips. Now this position, this is the locked and loaded position, okay? Because it's like you're ready to sling your guns, okay? So right here is locked and loaded. We're gonna hold right here. Now from here, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to pin your hands to your hips and all you're gonna do is move your elbows, okay? So your elbows are gonna go forward like this, ha. Boom, boom. Okay, from the side, out, in, out, in, okay? This is the trajectory of your elbows. They're gonna go forward, okay? From back, so they're pointing back, then they're gonna go forward, okay? Just like that. Ha, ha, okay? Adding into the hands, what I'm gonna do with my hands is I'm going to pull them away from my hips and grab like, my, like, a, like I'm holding a bar, okay? So from here, I'm going to hit. From here, my elbows are going forward, boom, and I'm gonna grab. Now what helps me when I do this, and this is my own personal style, I like to rotate my, my hands in because my elbows are moving forward like this. If I, if I grab inward, it kinda helps me lock into that position a little more. So if you notice the way that I lock, I, I'm here, I'll grab and I'll kind of turn my hands in. This is my personal preference. Uh, you don't have to do it like this, but this is just the way that I like to do it. Boom, like this, okay? Now, with the body posture together, we're going from here, okay? Locked and loaded, boom, down. Now this is my position. My hip is out, foot is up, and I'm locked in just like this. Up, lock, up, lock, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, okay? So now to add just a little bit of flair, a little bit of style to the lock so it's not so one-dimensional, um, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my body in, 
okay? So basically, my body is going to come in like this, shoulder down, up, down, up, down. From here, I'm going to lock in. Ha, 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 ha. Just like this. Boom. And I go other side. Ha. Boom. Ha. Okay? And this is just to add that little extra funk into your body. I'm kind of curving my body in. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Okay? So a little extra technique that um, I like to do with my lock to make sure it's extremely strong. Because the point of the lock is to stop. Yeah? So we're, we're locking our joints in, a, in place. Okay? What I do is I actually, the reason, a big reason why I like to go fists is because it allows me to flex my muscles. Yeah? Almost like a hit in popping. Okay? So when I'm, I'm relaxed here, and when I hit my lock, boom, I'm, I'm flexing like as if I'm flexing like this here. Yeah? So here, boom, and I'm holding it strong. The more you flex, the stronger your picture is going to be, and the, you're going to be able to hold it a little bit longer. Yeah? Here, ha, and it snaps right in. So you can add that technique into your lock to make it a lot stronger. Another technique uh, that you can do with the lock uh, as a personal preference, if this is something you want to do, I've seen other people teach it like this too. Uh, you can think like you're riding a bicycle, yeah? So instead of uh, the way that I showed you like this, okay, it's more in and your elbows are kind of pushing forward more, um, you can push up like this. So you think like you're grabbing like a bike, like bike handles, and you're coming up, yeah? So you can go from here, boom, like this. Up, boom, okay? You can do either way. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Again, locking is all about individuality, so it's up to you how you wanna do it. I'm just showing you a couple different ways that you can go about it. Along with the way that you do your arms, you can also change your hands. So you don't have to uh, go fists, but you can go open hand if you want, you could come in, yeah, there's a, couple, there's a bunch of different ways that you can lock here, yeah? It's up to you, however you want to do it. Now we're going to get into the prep and lock, okay? Now the prep is uh, basically a precursor to the lock, and originally it was done with a double lock first by Don Campbell, which I'll show you the double lock later in the video. Uh, but first we're just going to go over the prep into the lock, okay? Uh, this move also has a couple different names, muscle man, uh, blast, up lock, yeah, but originally they just called it a prep. So we're going to prep up like this, okay? Now the prep goes with that, that groove, one up on one, yeah? Really nice and strong, just pulling it up here, okay? Prep, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my hands down like I'm putting them in my pocket to that locked and loaded position, and then I'm going to boom into my lock. So with the count, it would look something like this. You would go one and two, three and four, yeah? Boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, just like that. Now I'm gonna show you the double lock. So the double lock is two locks right after another, okay? There's just a little, there's a little technique that'll help you when you're doing this, um, and it's bouncing. So what I'm gonna do first is when I sit in my hip, I'm going to bounce, bounce like this. Ha, ha. Bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. Okay? Boom, boom. Now with my elbows, what I'm focusing on is mostly the elbows going forward, okay? Out, out. And that's really what the double lock is. So if, I, if I'm here already, ready to lock, I go hit, hit, yeah? I'm bouncing down, and as I go down, my elbows come out. Boom, 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 just like that. And I'm just slapping it. Flat, 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 flat. Ha, 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 ha. And that's a double lock. So if we did the prep, we'd go one and ha, ha. Boom, boom, ha, ha. Boom, boom, ha, ha. Boom, boom, ha, ha. Just like that. Real quick, if you're getting any value out of this video, if you're already learning something, Please smash that like button for me and let's jump into the drill. Okay, so this drill is very simple. All we're going to be focusing on is the blast and lock, okay? And we're going to be alternating from right to left every time, okay? So first, we're going to start really slow in the music 
and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do that for four eight counts, okay? And then we're going to speed it up a little bit. We're going to go on every whole count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do that one for four eight counts. Then we'll go even faster. We'll, we'll hit one and two, okay? So we'll go one and two, hold three, four, five and six, hold seven, eight. We'll do that one for four eight counts. And then the last one, we'll go full speed. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And we'll do that one for four eight counts. Feel free to follow along with me if you wanna do this drill. You can also take this drill, it's just a skeleton, and you could do it to any song that you want. You could practice with slow songs and maybe practice with fast songs too if you wanna build your speed. But this drill is something that you could do at home to any kind of music to help train your lock. Let's get into it. I want to show you guys is just a couple variations of how you can play with the lock a little more creatively instead of just doing it uh, the basic way like this okay uh, one way is that you could drop down a level so if we go down to this position here we can lock here boom boom we can even hit prep and lock it down just like that boom 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 you could even do that same drill with this boom boom ha. boom boom ha just like that. Another way is that you could lift the leg. So you can lock up like this. Up, ha, boom, ha. You can double lock here. Ha, 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 okay? Another creative way that I like to use the lock is I like to cross, yeah? So you can cross down lock here, ha, like this. Boom, up, ha, boom, boom, ba. No matter which way you wanna do the lock, the number one thing is you gotta be funky and always make it your own. Put your own personality and your own spin on it. Come up with your own creative ways to do the lock because Don Campbell was one of the most original dancers we, of our time, uh, coming up with his own dance style that we all emulated. So make sure you're always being yourself and being original in the style that we love. so much for checking out this locking tutorial if you learned something if you got any value out of this video please hit that like button for me leave me a comment and let me know your favorite ways to lock how you like to mix it up and if there's any videos or tutorials that you like me to put out let me know in the comments as always shout out to the drop dance studio for hosting this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel so you never miss a tutorial when i put one out go ahead and Click on the little bell icon so you always get notified and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.